it's like a sanctuary where we have a garden and we have animals, we have chickens. And pretty much we use those products that we produce from, the, from Terra, which is our garden, to our cafeteria. It has a hands-on component where the students are building something. So the future, it's here. It's that, that the students are learning about tomorrow's jobs. Tomorrow's already here. And in order for them to compete in those industries, what better place to start learning than here? garden that's student-led and student-based. We have teachers, but the teachers are just like the watchers while the students actually get hands-on activities. The project was made primarily from my point of view to teach the students about construction, to show teamwork. It's a student-driven, which pretty much we are mentors. I'm there to facilitate the program, to present it to the students, to give them a roadmap. So in the beginning, this whole yard was just a big empty space. It was kind of ugly, I'm not going to lie. I remember Ochoa came up with an idea that we were going to have a garden here. And then sophomore year is when we started planning out our outline of what we wanted to do. But now it's like so beautiful. When the students feel like the project is theirs, I can see more motivation, I can see more engagement, and actually more learning. I know in the beginning I was kind of like a solo person. I really wouldn't want anybody's help or anybody's advice. That taught me a lot here because I was interacting with other students and then other things that they knew and I didn't. So they kind of helped me in a way. I think what we found out is, is this is such a wonderful thing that they've taken ownership of it. And so that brings in a social justice aspect of, you know, as builders, you know, after we're done building, what is our role in the project when we're finished? Are we to just kind of get lost and, and go do something else and go build another project? Or do we have a role in what we built? Terra is a work in progress. There's something that is going to be added on. We're going to have to maintain it. New ideas, new improvements, new innovations. So Terra is going to continue, not just for the students that built it, but the students that are going to be coming in, going to be taking over. Uh, I was the architect, so I had to design and make the blueprints for the building. So I took the role of owner and financial analysis. As the owner, I had to be basically the principal since the principal is the owner of Terra. And then for financial analysis, I basically did a spreadsheet, but the spreadsheet basically was color coded for people that were more visual learners. And the spreadsheet basically had a pie chart too to also show what materials we spent more on and what we spent less on and the kind of materials we used and where we got it from. For me, being a green energy specialist, I did the calculations for all the energy produced from the showcase room inside Terra. As a sophomore, it's the time where I think about my um, you know, career, my future, and what school I want to go to. And um, Terra kind of opened my eyes to see that I really enjoy the engineering side of it. So my involvement in this project helped me establish what I wanted to be after high school and I wanted to go to Stanford and hopefully major in architecture. I mean, now that I graduated high school, I never thought that I was gonna come back, but I actually like seeing this, and then I even tell my parents, like, watch, when I have kids, I'm gonna pass by, and I'm gonna tell them that I built that, because I actually did. So it's actually a really good experience, and then now that I'm coming back and helping out even more, it makes me a huge part of this project, and then I can't just say like, oh, I just did the steps or, oh, I just did the cages. No, I did the whole thing and I was actually part of the whole experience from the beginning to the end. Working in Terra has been like, kind of like a life-changing experience for me. Since Terra is on our campus, we could walk there and see, you know, the changes and how people benefit in our community.